the platform for everyone is both an opportunity and a challenge. I'm being tested on the platform, feeling the moments of moving forward. When I stood on the platform for the first time, I was only four years old. At that time, my parents' working places were constantly changing. I have sat in five kindergartens in different cities, the memory of which was locked deeply in my subconscious. It was hard for me to fit in. Everything had to be restarted before I could even enjoy myself. On my fourth birthday, my teacher had a birthday party in order to let all the students in the class to know me as soon as possible. When the birthday song was sung at the center of the platform, with my finger crossed, I made a wish. The atmosphere was so intoxicating. Then the teacher asked me to say something to thank everyone, and then we could share the cake. But I had no experiences speaking in public, and I was frightened to death. My face flushed, and I didn't know what to do. My hands were behind my back. My throat seemed to throb, but I could not say the word. The children are waiting patiently to eat the cake. Some excited ones even began to stop their feet. After a long period of embarrassment, the wise teacher came to my rescue and said, I can invite a friend to help me share the cake. Then I pointed to a fat kid next to me who had drilled for a long time, and the cake was divided quickly with his incredible skills. I've got a piece too. And I was thoughtful and was grateful as if it were not my own birthday. A platform is an opportunity Leave for great because of fear, or embrace joy and success. Chance favors a mindset that well prepared. I didn't take the chance and could only stay in place. On New Year's Eve, when I was six, I had a New Year party in another kindergarten, culminating with a fashion show. Teachers and parents have carefully prepared a set of costumes for us. At rehearsal, one of my classmates was wearing the Empress new clothes, which was the opaque kind. It was quite imposing, and it attracted the most attention. At that time, I was still afraid of the platform, so I picked a peasant costume, dressing as a farmer, carrying a hoe, and bowed my head to mingle with the crown to make sure that no one can see me. Based on the effect of rehearsal, the teacher and the representative parents decided to swap the roles of the emperor and the farmer, and I was draped with the yellow robe. The teacher came and patted me on the shoulder and said, You see, this costume suits you well. You are a real emperor. As the leading actor in the performance, walking down the middle of the platform, remember to take out the aura of an emperor. And I thought, yeah, an emperor can't keep his head down. I have to lead my apprentices on the pilgrimage. At the end of the show, I strutted down the middle of the platform, and the atmosphere was immediately boiling. The most excited person was my mother, who was sitting in the audience, crying. A platform is a beginning which made me feel like there's no way to hide or let me experience the surprise of getting attention. I want to be brave to take a stand, see this moment, and make something in my life. When I was 11 years old, I joined the school performance team and participated in the celebration of the reconstruction of Xiaoyao Tower in Guilin. When I was a child, I wasn't good at singing or dancing. I wasn't talented. So at the beginning of the rehearsal, the most handsome boy in the grade, experienced and skillful, was in the first row singing and dancing. As for me, I just needed to stand in the last row unnoticed and posing. There were very few actions, but as a newcomer, I took them seriously. At the end of the second rehearsal, the instructor said, the boy in the last row, 
with a sweet smile. Yes, you, the one with the big face. Yes, you come to the front. Then the teacher turned to the most handsome boy in the grade and said, "You have had a lot of opportunities. How about letting someone new to try this time?" Suddenly, from the last row to the first row, I had never dreamed of becoming the leading row, and I was happy and hardworking. But here came the trouble one day before the performance. Because of the excitement, singing loudly for days, my throat was completely numb. When the teacher knew it, she didn't get angry, comforting me to perform as usual. But I was still. Regret and remorseful. I thought I would screw up the whole show. When it was show time, more than a dozen cameras were broadcasting. All the lights were shining on me. I calmed down, pretending to pose, lip syncing. Suddenly, the voice came out, and I immediately recognized that it was the most handsome boy in the grace voice who helped me dub at the scene. I was deeply moved, and quickly controlled the right then, kept lip syncing. We jointly played a large double ratio, and the performance was successful and flawless. A platform is an adventure. It can be a trial of the unknown, or a well-coordinated drill. I always ask myself, what kind of help have I received? What moving moments have I appreciated? On the journey of life, we walk forward together, shoulder to shoulder. In the summer, when I was 12 years old, my school organized a study tour, and I had the chance to speak as the representative of all the students. I didn't want the fear of the platform still remain in my heart, so I signed up for the audition. But the scene of the interview was shocking. There were perennial hosts of large-scale activities, experienced top students, school radio broadcasters with pure accents, and city speech contest winners. Compared with these students, I didn't have any advantages on platform. Then I had an idea. It was acceptable to be eliminated by these excellent students. But I could not accept my cowardly withdrawal from the competition, so therefore, I joined two rounds of the competition. But it was only narrowly shortlisted. This kind of competition process, which made me feel ashamed of myself, was really a kind of suffering. The last round of the interview was scheduled on the weekend after school, but the teacher. Suddenly attended an emergency meeting and could not come in time. He let someone to tell everyone to stay and wait for him. But when the interviewer came, I was the only one present. The teacher repeatedly said sorry, but still strictly interviewed me. Although not satisfied with my pronunciation and physiological quality. He still decided to give me the chance to be on the platform, and I cherished it very much. The problems of pronunciation and physiological quality still existed, but the speech was not very learned, and I was determined to overcome these difficulties, at least on the spot, and not to lose. At home, I have read the article for a dozen times. I have even recorded it to re correct my pronunciation. The day before the speech, I went to the school platform to give a live simulation speech and face all the students on the platform. Many people at the scene were very sympathetic to me, thinking that the boy must be a little out of mind because too much pressure from the study. On the morning of the camp. The playground was filled with 2,500 students, and this time, it was strange that I was not nervous at all. The speech was smooth and powerful, and the teacher also said I had general demeanor.
A platform is a chance to change. I can keep the weakness I was born with or start changing as I grow. I was determined to change, accelerating to a better self. Later, I entered the middle school and high schools, where the students became more and more excellent, and teachers began more and more open to their teaching. Here, the teacher gave up half the platform and half the time, and we worked together to perform textbook plays, sitcoms, and various classroom interactions. We were given a chance to shine, and we helped shape the whole classroom. A classroom is a corporation, from the platform of one person to a platform of a group of people. Together, we imagine, we create, we learn to pour for each other, to be proud of each other, and to light each other up. Every platform is both present and future-oriented. One day, we will stand at a school gate. Take a step out. Behind is our colorful campus. In front is our better life. Be well prepared. We can be determined to move forward. Thank you.